So I wanted to do this little short recording. I hope it is short by the time I finish recording, and it may not be, but I do like sharing just wisdom, knowledge, things I've learned in my life, and just being open and just honest with you all, because that's just what I'm about. You know, even if I wasn't on social media in real life, that's who I'm, who I am, that I'm an honest person. I like to just be real with people. And also with things I have learned, I'm not, you know, ashamed to share that and just to put it out there. And I know at one point I was because I understand that not everybody wants to hear certain type of stories. They don't want to hear the struggles you went through or things like that. But I am the type of person that I believe that sharing your testimony is important. That when you do share that, you are helping someone else and you also encourage yourself as well. So I just had my 31st birthday on last week. And I'm not ashamed to say my age. I'm 35 years old. And for some, you know, I don't look like I'm 35, but I am 35 years old. And, you know, I was just, just in my time with God, just praying that for my 35th year, that I want to come to like this place of peace. And what I mean by this place of peace, that things that were just areas in my life that just had like a lot of just chaos. What I mean by chaos, that you know, there was things that were going wrong, things that fell out of place. Like, I want to come to this place of peace and not, you know, wrestling with the same old things. You know, at 35, you know, I am trying to, you know, get a handle on my professional life, trying to go down, you know, the right path, the career that I seek to be in, getting my finances order, trying to deal with debt, and also being a single mother. So it is, you know, some things that I do want to get in order. But I feel like at this age that I'm at this point now, that I finally made to this point where I just want to go higher. You know, um, I just don't think life should just be lived at a, I would just say at a standstill, like you're on the same level throughout your life. Like whatever like tick you off, like in your 20s, it's still ticking you off in, in your 30s and 40s. Like, whatever you were struggling with in your 20s, you're still dealing with that in your 30s and 40s. Now, I'm not down nobody or anything like that. I understand we all have our challenges that we need to overcome. But I just don't want that to be the theme of my life. Like, I want to prosper. I want to succeed. I want to live out the plan that God has for me. And I just don't want to settle for what's around me or what somebody said about me. All those crazy things. Like, I do want to move on. And I do feel too as well that maturity should be a thing it should be a thing and when I say this I have this constant say it's it's not putting nobody down now if you are easily offended by that you know it is something deeper to that because when we talk about maturity we talk about growth sometimes people feel as if oh you're picking on me and you're saying this about me you push me to do this no we're not pushing you to do this we just see more in you so when I talk about maturity and growth, especially for myself, I see more in me. And I know that there's certain things I should not be doing um, moving forward, that there are things I do need to leave behind as far as how I think about things, my attitude. So, you know, throughout the years, you know, of course, I have changed. If you see my picture, that I have changed. Well, to some, probably not, but I have changed. But I love just putting this collage of pictures together collage i am say it right i like putting it together because i like to see the growth i like to see the story that i'm telling each picture and i like to see how i'm overcoming certain things um because you know being a single parent is not the only challenge that i have overcome in my life i say i overcome that because yes you know again i struggle a lot but i am have you now i have come to a place where i understand that maintaining my hustle it takes wisdom and it takes me just you know, just kind of just putting my mindset in a way that I'm not trying to struggle. I'm trying to thrive. And that's because of God, you know, just the leading of the Holy Spirit, speaking to my heart, speaking to my mind, and letting me know that my present circumstances does not have to be like this. Like, it can change. And I know that in this society that when you get past 30, people are mad and think that you're just a throwaway. Oh, if you don't get married by 30, you'll make a million dollars by 30. You know, just to me, I feel like it's a lot of superficial things, but I don't hear a lot of inner changes. Like, oh, 
when you get to 30, you should be maturing in this way. You should be growing that area. It's more like the superficial things. And it's nothing wrong being married. It's nothing wrong if you're making a lot of money by 30. But if you're past 30 and you haven't done none of those things, don't beat yourself up over there. If you're still living on this earth, you still have a chance to do something to your life. And yes, I'm 35. You know, and sometimes I feel like, oh, I may be past my prime, but no, I still had dreams and desires that I want to put out there. You know, I have things that I want to, you know, just explore things I want to get into. And even though I'm 35, that doesn't mean that my whole life is over. You know, by God's will, if he want me to live 10 or 15, oh, really, 40, 50 more years, I want to live a long, good life. But I'm going to make each day worth it. And it does, it has taken me some time to get to this point, especially dealing with issues of self-esteem and depression, all of that, that was just keeping me from actually thinking the best about my life, the best about myself. And yes, I made mistakes. I did some crazy things I should not have done. But it doesn't mean I cannot overcome it, I can't learn from it, and I can't get through it or past those things. Because, you know, life is always moving, and you can't just stay stuck. So... At 35, I'm looking forward to getting my finances or what I'm looking forward to, you know, just paying out some debt. I'm looking forward to getting my creative ideas, my business ideas in order, and just really stepping out on faith in those things. Even my content creation with this channel, doing more with it, doing my all with it, and also just being who God made me to be. You know, it's high, I feel like I'm more of a, how can I say this? I would say more like a sister slash teacher or slash counselor because I do like to talk to people. I like to help people out. And I want to do more of that in my content creation. And not saying I haven't been doing that, but just to push myself a little bit more and just just putting, you know, life lessons out there, things I learned, just sharing that, being more open about certain things. Because, uh, yes, I am an honest person, but I also know that I do kind of struggle being open with certain things because I know everybody's not. It's not like that, but I don't like wearing a mask. I don't like, you know, just pretend to be something I'm not. I'm going to be Shakur, and that's all I know how to be. So I just want to just put that out there, just put my thoughts out there, something to listen to at night as you go to bed, or if you like me at night out and you're not going to bed for another hour or two, but <laughs> just to encourage somebody, you know, else out there, as you get older, just know that life, it keeps moving and decide that, hey, I'm going to reach another point of maturity and growth in my life, so I'm not wrestling with the same old things because, you know, it's time I fall it. You know, some of us, we got to grow up. I put myself in that number. We got to grow up in our mindset, how we do things. We got to grow up because we want, you know, just the good things in life. Um, you know, I'm talking about, you know, just the blessings of God. We have to grow up. We got to mature. So y'all have a great night. Please feel, feel free to share your comments below i'm also trying to do um, good in tiktok um you know just really trying to stay consistent with that so this same channel journey Shakur, you can find me on tiktok and if you like this type of content feel free to subscribe share comment all that good stuff you have a good night